I hate to say it, but I suck at painting. I, I really do. Hello and welcome here on Random Rotation. I hope you're all doing well. I'm still in the middle of the moving process, but I promised to make a video for you guys this week and I don't want to break that promise. So I thought, let's do a quick video about a tool I stumbled upon the other day and that I find to be pretty interesting. I'm talking about NVIDIA Canvas, an AI-driven tool that helps painting noobs like me creating nice-looking environments. If you like to follow along, the link to Canvas is in the description of this video. Okay, let's go. As you can see in the upper left corner, Canvas is in beta currently, which means things might change before it finally gets released, design-wise and functionality-wise. On the left here, we have some essential tools like a paint tool and a stroke tool and so on. And on the right-hand side, there are our materials, the layers and some different styles that we talk about in just a second. And in the top row, we can create a new document, open an existing one, save our work, or export it as PSD or PNG. This simply is an undo button. We can zoom in and out, and we can change the view, if we like, from the default dual view to either the map or the image view. And that's all. Very straightforward, in my opinion. Now let me show you how this works. First, I rename this already existing layer to clouds, just to keep everything nicely organized. Then I choose the material I want to start with, in this case, clouds. Next, I need to select a brush and the brush size. And now it's time to paint. It doesn't matter too much on which side I'm painting. I guess that's personal preference. And once I'm happy with my clouds, I move on to a new layer. Let's add a meadow in the foreground here. Like this. Cool. I like it. And what about some water behind that? All right, and now I wouldn't mind some rocks on the meadow. And now let's say it's been snowing this morning. Impressive, right? But no, I, I liked it better without the snow. Let me just hide that layer for now. The last thing I want to show you are these styles. By changing them, I can super easily try out different lighting scenarios. I think this is amazing. And if you like the tool and you want to help the developers, you can take this quick survey here. And that's it. Neat little tool from NVIDIA. Does this make real drawings obsolete? No, of course not. But what I always find very exciting with tools like this is to think about where the journey could go in the near future. For now, it is only a nice tool in development, but think about its potential. That's what excites me. And that's all from me for this week. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this episode, and if so, I hope to see you in the next. Until then, stay safe and motivated. Bye for now.